Meet Sarah Walker. She's an astrobiologist at Arizona State University. And she and Paul Davies have written papers about the algorithmic origins of life. And it's an interesting idea because it has to do with information as the key property to what life is and something called a top-down or downward causation where higher levels influence and constrain the dynamics of the lower levels of the organization. I sat down with her in Arizona and we talked about, are we alone? My name is Sarah Walker. Oh, and what do you do? I'm an astrobiologist. Okay, and are we alone? I'm not sure. When I asked you that question, what did you interpret the we to me? The we, um, living systems. So the life on Earth? Yes. So I interpreted it to be whether there was life only on Earth or whether there was life elsewhere. I see. So you didn't say we human beings then? No. Okay. All right. And uh, have you ever seen a UFO? No. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I maybe I've seen things that I didn't know what they were. So if you mean unidentified flying objects in a sense, I don't know what the heck I'm looking at, then yes. Oh. In the sense of I think that's aliens, no. I see. So you've seen it. What kind of UFO have you seen then? I don't know, lights and stuff. Lights and stuff, okay. Now, you have, what is life for you? What, what does that mean? Um, oh, gosh. Are you talking about metabolism or is it information or what is it for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's, a, so I work on the problem of understanding what living systems are, so it's, it's actually a really difficult question for me to answer in some regard because I realize how little we actually know about the answer to that question. But most of what I think about what living systems are as is in terms of what they do with information um, and that information is somehow the dividing line between life and not life. Um, and one of the more unique features about biological systems and what they do with information is that they innovate. Um, and so I, I think one of the things that is the most defining features of life um, is the ability to create new things based on information that exists in, in physical systems. What do we know about the origin of life here on Earth? Not much. Um, I mean, well, we have a lot of theories, um, but we don't know which ones are correct, which is why the field is really exciting to work in. Um, and I think uh, it's actually a really open question. So uh, without actually really having a clear understanding of what living systems are, it's really difficult to talk about when they originated or how they originated. And so people have different concepts that they think are important in thinking about living systems, whether it's genetics or metabolism, and those inform different uh, theories for what living systems are, um, which then inform theories for their origins. But none of them seems to capture all of the things that we would associate with life. Um, and probably in part that's because we don't really understand what sort of the core things are that really define a living system. Are universally. viruses alive? By my definition, yes, because they're part of living systems. And prions? Um, are prions alive? Yes. Is Arizona alive? Yes. Is the Earth alive? Yes. Is the Sun alive? Maybe a little. The galaxy? Maybe a little. The universe? Yes. An atom? It depends on what it's in. <laughs> okay, so how about the, I have a hydrogen atom inside my thumb right here. Is that alive? Sure. Okay, and I'm, I have a nitrogen that I'm breathing right now. Is that nitrogen alive? No. Okay, could you close your eyes mm. and let me ask you, what kind of aliens would you like to find? Your emotional self, please. Let's see, some kind of sci-fi alien. I don't know which one. Some kind of sci-fi alien. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'd want to meet aliens that were, this is really bad. Say that again? Were, that were really good scientists. You'd like to meet really good scientists. Yeah. So you'd like to meet yourself? Maybe. <laughs> I guess one doesn't everybody, I guess. Is the question, are we alone, an important question? Yes. Why? Um, because, I, well, I think it's an important question. Um, the question itself has merit just because it makes you do a lot of self-reflection and, um, you know, think about what you are as a living system, uh, what is humanity is. Is good? Yep. But it's a more important question because if we actually had an answer to it, I think it would, it would change everything that we think about ourselves.
Is that good to change everything you think I about think yourself? I think so, but I'm a scientist, so I like... You might undermine the very reason you get up and then we all die because we find out that we're meaningless or something. Wow, you are really pessimistic. I'm optimistic. Well, the aliens probably don't think much of us, maybe. And they would say, you know what, we have a religion, we're more powerful than you, and you are worthless, you're like an amoeba. I mean, Where do you get this stuff? <laughs> well, if we, just, if we look at amoebas, we don't talk to them, we don't think, but imagine if amoebas figured out how to contact us, and we had a vision of them that was, we don't care about you, you're crap, then that might, oh, you guys are more powerful than us, so we'll have to adopt your religion, so we're crap, and so we'll, they get drunk, and then they kill themselves. Right. I'm just worried about humanity discovering an advanced civilization that would... Uh, treat humanity not as God's gift to the universe, but rather just so amoeba, crap, bacteria, something that you don't I, respect. I just, I, just, I mean, I, I know a lot of people make those arguments. I just, that's not how I feel about it. I don't, I don't think that, like, if we did meet aliens, that they are going to intrinsically be, um, you know, trying to outcompete us or think that we're the grime under their feet. I think that they would be as curious about us as we are about them. Really? I guess because they're good scientists, because that's what you want to meet, a good scientist. I guess alien. so, yeah. I yeah. see. You don't want I to, suppose. You don't want and to meet I, a dominatrix I, or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but maybe they put us under a microscope. Who knows? 